There are many antiviruses out there. All of them have so many fancy words for all the features that they can provide you. But how well can they actually perform against real viruses? In this video, I'm going to install three different antiviruses and see how well they will defend my computer against a variety of malware, ransomware, Trojans, and many other types of viruses. For each antivirus, I'm going to test its scan capabilities, real-time protection, and whether it will actually make a difference if your computer is already infected with some kind of ransomware. Let's see what kind of protection we can actually get when we are up against some real danger in the world. Let's get started. So first of all, we're going to be using the Zoo. This is a database that has many viruses in it, like ransomwares, Trojans, some keyloggers, zero locker, uh, Zeus viruses, and many other types of freely life and dangerous malware. We're going to start from Norton Antivirus. I've already installed uh, the whole database here. You can see it, each virus is zipped. And the first thing I'm going to test is the quick scan. And the quick scan has not actually found any threats, so that's already zero for the Norton and 254 for the viruses. Next, I'm going to test the full system scan capabilities of Norton. We can see that the amount of files that were scanned is, is much bigger and Norton has actually managed to find three threads and it's processing them. When we take a deeper look at those threads, we will see that it has found a Trojan and an OSX Trojan. Now the Trojan is basically two zip files, the equation and the zero banking Asus banking version, and the OSX is the OSX backdoor warm. So that's three uh, viruses for the full scan of Norton and 1251 missed for the viruses. Now, this results kind of makes sense because those viruses are zipped and they are password protected. However, I still think that they could be identified. And that's what we're going to see, for example, with some other uh, antiviruses. Next up, I've tested the real-time protection for Norton by literally unbacking each one of those viruses and seeing what Norton reaction will be. We can see over here on the right that Norton is actually detecting those viruses and removing them immediately. However, it missed the ransomware red boot, which, will, which is a type of ransomware that will affect the boot uh, start of your computer and give you this red screen when you start. Now, let's go on with some other viruses. So we've got some Trojans down here. We've got some more ransomware. All right, it's, Norton is doing a very good job capturing all the ransomwares, which is super awesome. Even the WannaCry, which is the most dangerous one. But it missed the Windows 32 Keybass uh, Trojan, the Nuke Speed, also was missed. The Zeus, no, it managed to capture it perfectly. We can see it was removed. And what more? The zero axis. It, I thought it missed um, the zero axis, but it actually didn't because the moment that I changed the file extension to .exe instead of .exe underscore, it caught it immediately and removed it, which was super awesome. Now, the other thing that surprised me with Norton is the fact that it could actually discover the JavaScript viruses which is super good you can see it discovered the js lame and the other one so in total i think uh, norton have missed five viruses and managed to detect 249 so that's super good now next up i'm going to test the protection after infection so what i'm going to do is first turn off norton so i can actually ma uh, manifest the infection i'm going to turn off all the protection for 15 minutes then i'm going to start the WannaCry ransomware which is one of the most dangerous ransomware this ransomware will encrypt everything on my disk and I'm going to see if Norton is going to be actually capable of stopping it while it's in the process. So I'm going to turn it back on. We can see that everything is now turned back on. My device is protected. Well, not really. Now in the background, you can see that the virus has already managed to encrypt my files. Norton has detected there is something, but it can't actually do anything. So the virus will just go on. It has managed to change my background to the ransomware um, announcement. And yeah, you can see even the files are just disappearing and Norton cannot actually stop it the moment that it starts. Now let's take a step back and evaluate the performance of Norton. In my opinion, it did a very good job in capturing most of the ransomware except for the red boot. Um, the viruses when they weren't in the .exe extension were also very hard to capture and it failed to detect the ransomware when it was running well but that's also an expected outcome as i've mentioned it's a very hard task to uh, capture ransomware while it's running now the nice thing about uh, norton is 
it managed to find the JavaScript files, so even uh, the web-based viruses uh, will be detected by Norton, which is super good. It's very lightweight, and I barely felt any difference in the performance of my computer while Norton was running. Next up, I'm going to test McAfee. So the first thing I'm going to do is to run a scan, a quick scan of my computer. I have the whole set of uh, viruses already in and let's see if McAfee will be able to find them. You can see all the zips are here, the Trojans, the ransomwares. And it basically found nothing. So all of the ranz all of the viruses were actually went undetected. So I went ahead and ran a full scan for McAfee that took a really long time. That's why I'm not showing it in this video. And it actually managed to find two of the zipped viruses. I know it's Trojan and the equation group which is pretty good, so I'm adding that to its score. So for the full scan, McAfee has scored two. Now let's move on to real-time protection. I'm going to see if it will protect us against all those ransomwares, and it's doing a good job so far. It has captured even the red boot that Norton missed. All right, pretty good. The Tesla as well was captured. The WannaCry is also captured. It's super awesome. It also did a good job on the Trojans as well. But it actually missed this Trojan alien spy f jar files, which was a bit of disappointment. The crypto lockers, it managed to find them. But the thing is, it actually missed the JavaScript uh, viruses. It missed the two that are actually present in this data set, which is very disappointing. Now, the keylogger, it also managed to find it, so that's pretty good. Now, next, we're going to check if uh, McAfee will be able to protect us if we are already infected. So I'm going to turn off the protection and start the WannaCry ransomware and see how well things will go. So now that I've started the ransomware, I'm gonna turn on McAfee back. Yes, so it is on. We can see in the background, I still have my files, but McAfee hasn't detected that anything is going wrong and we're actually, we have the antivirus on. All right, now you can see it, my files are getting encrypted. Yeah, it has finally stopped a virus, but did it actually stop it? Well, tell me more. Yeah, all right, so what's going on? Let's give it a bit more time, see if it's actually managing to do it. No, I'm just losing my files, even though the antivirus is on. It even encrypted my viruses folder. <laughs> That's really sad. So nope, McAfee cannot protect you if you're already infected with ransomware. Uh, let's take a step back and take an overview on McAfee. So they do have a lot of features that include web protection, but I was really disappointed that they didn't capture the JavaScript files on the disk. There are many reasons for why this ha this could happen, but so sometimes a uh, part of the harmful files made it out and it kind of made my computer slow. On the other hand, it managed to capture the red boot, which the Norton missed. And it had a very good grip on all the ransomware. Next up, we've got Bitdefender. I'm going to start by running a quick scan of my system, which has all the viruses on it, just like usual. And the results are also just like usual. The quick scan did not detect any of those viruses. Now I'm going to run a full system scan and let's see how this one will turn up. We can already see that we've got some unresolved items down here, which is super good. Now this number is actually Oh, it's going up and down because it's resolving some of those. We can see it, it. We can see it going over my malware binaries, which is very good. That's actually digging deep into those zip files. All right, such a huge number: two hundred eighty-two viruses. Now, for a moment, I thought that it actually captured two hundred eighty-two viruses, but what it actually did was go into each virus in, uh, of the equation group. So, in total, it has only managed to capture eleven of the zip files. But that's already a very good advancement in comparison with what we saw earlier. Now, let's see the real-time protection and how well it would perform. I have to say that it captured almost everything in this folder, which is super good. The Trojans were also captured completely. And the same thing was with the ransomware. Now, I think the only part that um, Bitdefender missed completely was the Michelangelo virus. We can see it over here. It actually missed the disassembly of this Michelangelo, and this is actually a very dangerous virus. Let's see if it will actually be able to protect you after your PC has been infected with some ransomware. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the advanced threat defense, the normal uh, threat defense, and then I'm going to infect my computer with this uh, WannaCry, and we can see immediately that it has actually managed to stop it 
while it was running. We can see that it has actually made a list of the infected files and, and even have like a whole roadmap of what happened, which files were encrypted, and it will show you which files it will it has managed to and that's because it has a special layer for ransomware protection which i forgot to turn off in this first attempt and that's some super awesome efforts however this is unfair for the other this i'm gonna antiviruses so i'm gonna turn it off and then run the test again all right now that the ransomware is running i'm gonna turn everything back on and see if it will make a difference and the answer is no we still lost all of our files yeah, everything is encrypted and we got the background. So this ransom protection layer is super good. However, it's still a preventive measure that will not work if your PC is already infected with this kind of malware. Yeah, it is detecting that there are some infected files, but there's nothing it can actually do to stop it. Let's take an overview of my experience with Bit with Bit Defender so far. The thing that I ran to, the thing that I ran into the most is the fact that it didn't always remove the viruses it just left them there and then when you double click on it you get a permission error or that it was removed or a missing shortcut or something which was kind of annoying it failed to capture the michelangelo virus which is like a very old one so i did expect it to capture it immediately and it made my computer a bit slow the pros of the bit defender is this super cool roadmap that they show you with how, where the virus started, what kind of effect it had on your computer and how it was remediated. And it gives you the option to restore the file that it was deleted, which is super helpful if it was a misidentified file. And the fact that it has an actual layer for ransomware protection is already super good. Uh, let's say for some reason you needed to turn off the antivirus, you still have this uh, layer in place and it will still protect your computer. So in conclusion, antiviruses are mostly a preventive measure. They are there to prevent your computer from getting infected but the moment that it is infected it's super hard to undo this step and get it back to its normal state and then your only option would be to just delete everything and start uh, and start again so the best way to deal with malware with ransomware and with all kinds of viruses is to be aware of what you're installing make sure that you do not install programs from unknown sources or from websites that are not trusted see you next time